Hello, everybody. Today, we are downloading Black Ops 6. Yeah! Jumping right into the action. And you might be wondering, why am I making a video about the process of downloading Black Ops 6 rather than just playing the game and posting that? I would say since I'm playing this game on Game Pass and I haven't invested money into this game, I kind of take the role of a casual gamer that's just seeing what's up. What has Activision provided to its fans? Is it worth me using space on my console for? How much space does it take up? These are the kind of questions that I'm trying to answer for people like me. And so that's why I thought I would make a video on it. As of right now, I did set it to download, and it's only got 88 gigs to download. And to a lot of people, like people that play Fortnite, which is a pretty big multiplayer game, people that play Apex, also another big multiplayer game, those are like in that range, 88 gig. Because Call of Duty decided to make this thing, this monstrosity called Call of Duty Hub, I now feel the need to make a video discussing with people what exactly do I need to download as a casual gamer in order to start playing Black Ops 6. So this is like my journey starting from no Call of Duty on my console to having Black Ops 6 on my console. So we're gonna see what that's like. Oh my gosh. Okay, well it lied. So it was telling me when I was downloading it that it was only 88 gigs and somehow that has all of a sudden got boosted to 100 gigs? I don't know what that's about. Oh, it downloaded Content Pack 1. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what it just did. It just started downloading stuff without asking me. It didn't give me a consent form saying, hey, you want to download these things? It just auto did it right as we went into the game. Okay, so it installed some Content Packs, which aren't a huge deal. 10 megabytes each. So right now, we have six items total downloaded. Let's go into Black Ops 6. Goes into the main menu just fine. Now it's launching Black Ops 6. Update requires restart. Oh, thanks, Call of Duty. It looks like I have access to campaign immediately, just based off of what I downloaded, which is pretty nice. And so let's see if zombies, see if I have zombies. Haha, <laughs> who is that? Got it. Let's see, multiplayer. So this is the multiplayer, dude. This is where I'm going to be spending the majority of my time for the next few days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Respect the high ground. Dang it. What is this? Is this like a, uh, a semi-auto? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's try this. Like, what is this? Like, what? Wh why am I like... Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, bro. Alright. This is the... This is the method right here. Just stay ads at all times. <laughs> Why is this working? Why is this working, bro? What the heck is going on? Oh my god! Um, so now we're at the end of the video, and we're answering the question that we had at the beginning of the video. And that is, uh, how many gigs does this take up on your console? The answer is 100 gigs 100.3 gigs. Still a lot. All right, guys, so I was just about to post this video, and I was about to chill and play some Call of Duty. It hopped up to 117 gigs, which, again, a lot of people are probably going to say this shouldn't be concerning because it's just 17 gigs, and obviously it's not a problem for me. I have 441 gigs available after this happening. But that's still weird, isn't it? It still only has six items downloaded. Six items. So let's let's add this up real quick. We got 11.1 gigs for the base game. Then we got 56.5 gigs for the campaign alone. Then we got 44.3 gigs for the multiplayer, which adds up to 111. We'll put it up a little bit. We'll say 112. With that, there's five gigs that it's not telling me what it's what it is. That's five gigabytes worth of stuff that's on my console, but it doesn't tell me what it is. <laughs> it's very weird. And it's also very weird when you consider the fact that on the first day that I downloaded this game, it said 88 gigs. And then we hit launch day, which is understandable. We hit launch day and it jumped up 12 gigs to 100 gigs, right? That's understandable because it's launch day. Maybe they did a day one patch, right? 
it's weird that it didn't inform me about a 12 gigabyte jump on a day one patch. And then now we're logging on. This is the second day after launch. And it's jumped up 17 gigs from the 12 gigs it jumped before that. I'm just confused, man. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not saying that this is a huge deal for me. Again, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that this is probably a huge deal to some people. And so that's the only reason I feel the need to include this in this video is because some people might see an issue with the fact that it just randomly adds gigabytes, not just megabytes, gigabytes onto the game without telling the player really anything. That's going to be in this video. Turns out just to play Black Ops 6, you just need to install six items total. You need to install Call of Duty. Then you need to download the Black Ops 6 campaign. We got the multiplayer, BO6 multiplayer. And then we have Content Pack 1 for Black Ops 6 downloaded. Content Pack 1 for Modern Warfare 2. And Content Pack 1 for Modern Warfare 3. Stay tuned. I'm going to start uploading multiplayer, campaign, and zombies videos. And if you're interested in seeing that, leave a like on this video maybe think about subscribing i'd really appreciate it anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful to some of you i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye